Missouri ball. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yes, sir, we're doing a quick video here on trucking. Is it right for you? Okay, so as of lately, or not lately, even the past while now, I've seen or listened to a lot of guys on the Facebook page coming on and quitting. They, you know, went through the trucking schools, uh, did their training period with a trainer, and then they get out there on their own and all of a sudden they quit. Well, I can't stand being away from little Joe or Sarah or my wife, and it's just too hard. I mean, come on, people. What do you think this is? A glamour job? Jeepers, creepers, sweepers, man. Okay, this is no TV trucking. This isn't Smokey and the Bandit, okay? Um, if you're someone who cannot handle being away from your family for any length of time, whatever, don't bother, Okay. This is no 9 to 5 job. You will be gone very long periods of time. Uh, that could mean anywhere from a week to... I've seen guys gone for a month to two months okay, before they get home. And that's not to say that is like that with every company. It's not. It's, some of it's by choice. Some of it's uh, the company. Uh, you know, there are some companies out there that are not that great in getting you home. So don't even ask me which ones those are. I don't know, okay? I'm not going to be making a list. This video is not about that. There's not going to be any uh, answers down below telling you what companies to go to. So don't send me any questions asking me what companies to go to, okay? It's not what this is about, okay? Anyways, I'm getting a little tired of hearing... Uh, you know, there's a lot of you that get out. I mean, I give some props to some guys. They do stick it out for six months, almost a year, and then decide, you know, that they really just can't do it. That's fine. You tried. But to come out for only a couple of weeks and then quit, that's not trying. Um, number one. So let's let's just get right on with this, okay? Trucking is not for everyone, plain and simple. To be an over-the-road trucker, I'm not talking local. I'm talking over-the-road where you're gone, you know, two weeks on average, three, four weeks away from your family and only home for two or three days afterwards okay so let's get right to it you're gonna miss birthdays you're gonna miss holidays thanksgiving christmas uh whatever holiday easter um you know it, there's you're gonna miss a lot if you have little young ones and you hate the idea of missing them going to their first day of school or or I mean we all hate that but we got to do what we got to do right um, but if you just can't handle the fact that you're gonna be away and you're gonna miss all this stuff then don't even come out okay um, I missed a lot of my daughter growing up but at the same token I was able to provide for them a little bit better being out here so there, there is a trade-off you know you have to look at it do i stay at home and work at mcdonald's and we live paycheck to paycheck and just barely scrape by and never be able to do anything extra or do i sacrifice missing out on some stuff and we be able to afford better and bigger and better things for the family so that's a really big uh, decision that you have to make if you can't handle being away from your wives or number two if your wives can't handle you being away if they're not willing they're gonna sit there and go oh yeah okay you know if you're pushing them to say I'm gonna go to trucking blah 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 this is what it's like and you know they look uncomfortable you, know, you should test your wife for two to three weeks straight do nothing sit on your asses and do nothing and see if your wife can handle everything around the house. I know it sounds kind of weird that you'd be sitting there while they're taking out the garbage, but let's face it, if you're on the road, that's what they're going to have to do. So let's see if they can do it. Test your wife, because I hear it all too often. Oh, my wife doesn't want me to do this anymore. My wife says I can't, she can't handle me being gone and all this other stuff. She can't handle taking care of the house and all this stuff. So that's a big factor right there, okay? So trucking is not glamorous, guys. You're out here for long periods of time. You're by yourself. You're staring at a white line for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles. Okay? You, you talk to yourself. I can guarantee that because I talk to myself all the time. Well, I talk to the four-wheelers as they're passing me, but they don't listen. They don't respond. Uh, however, when I have an argument with myself, I usually answer. So that's not so bad. I mean, yes, you do have the CB if you can get a hold of somebody and you're running with somebody to talk to, but... You know, you're by yourself. You're listening to the radio, uh, talk shows, things like that. They're long days, okay? 
uh, 14 hours uh, a day sometimes uh, for the US drivers Canada drivers we can go up to 16 and sometimes you do stretch that limit where you're you're out here you're working you know and pushing it for the full time that you're allowed so uh, and then at night you're stopped you're by yourself in the cab you got to find stuff to do uh, keeping yourself busy so it's a very uh, hermit like life okay if you want to give it that analogy you're going to be by yourself so this is not a glamorous job don't waste anyone's time and money uh if if you can't truly handle being out here i just really hate seeing guys going through trucking school spending all that money wasting people's times you know this it's people's time to take the time to teach you and train you a company's time. I mean, a lot of guys think, oh, well, it doesn't cost company anything. Well, yeah, it does. It costs them lots, uh, you know, in manpower, in resources uh, to get you out there to, uh, yeah, the sun's coming up, I know. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a whole snowball effect. You're not just, uh, you know, making the decision on yourself. You end up uh, screwing a lot of people by doing it. Dude, this is a truck spot. Uh, you don't come in here with your car. There's no car fuel. Anyway, whatever. Okay. I know. Squirrel. All right. So, that's going to... I'm going to wrap it up, guys. If, if you can't handle being away, if your wives can't handle taking care of everything, I mean from cutting the lawn to uh, shoveling the driveway... To repairing a shingle on a roof if need be well that's maybe stretching you could probably call for help there but uh, you know what I mean if, if they can't handle taking care of all the day-to-day -day operations of the house and taking care of the family while you're gone then it's probably not a good idea for you to go anywhere because it's, it's just not gonna work you're gonna go through all that hassle just to you know have your wife threaten to either leave you or quit which you know is unfair on all levels so what's also unfair is if you just go ahead and go to trucking and 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 you didn't really you know go through it with your spouses so anyways this is not smoking the bandit please 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 think this through uh and and also to you younger guys 18 years old don't even bother stay in school get a get a second education Go to college, go to university, whatever. Get a degree in something, okay? Um, because the chances of you being hired by any major company out here nowadays, it's harder and harder to get hired without experience. And a lot of times you have to go through training of some sort, and there's less and less companies offering training, so you have to go with the big companies. And they're all pretty much run by the insurance company. So unless you're 21 or older, chances of you getting on are very slim. I know there's going to be someone who says, oh, I was only 19 or 18 and I got on with so-and-so and that was no problem. Well, you're one in like 3 million drivers, okay? Uh, so don't even bother saying that. It's just, it's very, very rare. It's about maybe 1%, 2% that'll get hired uh, before they're 21 so don't even bother mentioning it because it's you're a rarity okay if you did you got damn lucky so hold on to it and don't let go but so for you guys wanting to go over the road this is not an easy job okay it's a lot of lonely time a lot of downtime uh, a lot of being away from the family a lot of missing birthdays christmases holidays everything i already said it okay guys so if you can't handle that and you say, well, I want to be home for this, and I want to be home for that, and I want to be home for this, and I want to be home for that, chances are you ain't going to make it out here, okay? But anyway, that's it. That's all for this video. Hopefully it helped. Uh, a few guys uh, make a proper decision as to whether you're going to come out here or not. I know, that sun is just something else. Up and down the light. Oh, my God.